Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in what note-taking technique is best for people with dyslexia. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next-generation note-taking and planning technique. I've been helping people to manage knowledge more effectively for the past 20 years. I'm actually dyslexic myself. So I'm gonna to explain to you what I believe is the best note-taking technique for people with dyslexia like myself, and why this is so much more powerful than just sitting and listening, taking traditional notes, or using a laptop. My experience with dyslexia is, uh, I wasn't diagnosed until very late on in my uh, late 40s, was uh, negative. It had a huge negative impact on my life because society places huge importance on being able to understand new information, whether it's in education or it's in the workplace, um, whether it's spoken or it's written. And so the reason that dyslexia had such an impact is because the way my brain processes information is slightly different to uh, people without dyslexia my brain will tend to scramble it sometimes, and particularly if the information is theoretical, conceptual, or there's a lot of terminology. Um, and literally, I can get to a point where my brain is just completely scrambled. Now, I, when was it, about 25 years ago? Maybe a bit, a little bit longer ago, I started to make a switch from what I call previous generation note taking because there was no point in me uh, listening to something because I'd just forget it, and I, you know, if it was complex, I wouldn't be understanding it anyway. I made a so I used to take a lot of notes, but they were traditional notes, and it was the note taking technique I was taught at school. In fact, we're all taught it at school worldwide, but it's actually a two thousand year old technique. Record now to use later. So I made a switch from traditional note-taking to next generation note-taking. And the difference between the two was that rather than just recording information, I wanted to process it to, to create knowledge that I could use real time. And what knowledge is, is the understanding of that information. Now to make that transition from information to knowledge was really simple, uh, as it turned out. It took me quite a few years to perfect it, but it was really simple. And essentially what I needed to do was start filtering at a much deeper level the information I was listening to and processing it at a much deeper level. And by processing it, I was able to create the knowledge. And that was really cool because it, it, I could literally feel my understanding increasing. So I was able to do all sorts of things. You know, I'd walk out of a lecture having a complete understanding of what was being said other people around me who weren't dyslexic were coming out saying, God, what was that about? I've no idea, he was all over the place. And I'm thinking, well, actually it was quite simple and really interesting, and I'm really pleased I went there. So quite a change. And I'm gonna give you a demonstration of what a next generation note-taking technique looks like. So as I mentioned, the first bit is the deep filtering and getting rid of all the, what I call unnecessary glue words that we use in language to connect things together. So here, the information I'd keep here, there is a need to find one good approach to help improve understanding and to help increase the confidence. I would probably keep need, I'd keep one good um, approach. I'd probably keep improve understanding and increase confidence. And that's it. Then what I'd do is deep, deep process it. So I break everything up in single units and then reconnect it. And that, that breaking up and reconnecting is what increases my understanding, but it also increases my focus and my concentration, which is a, another game changer for those of us with dyslexia. So here we go. Need. Uh, one. Good approach. Improve understanding. 
increase confidence. Now, another part of the, um, the more you process the knowledge, the more you start to think about the structure of it. So where you get things like, words like and, you know that that's a logical break because these two, the improve understanding, increase confidence, come off here. And so just being able to visually see the information in this format, I can start to see, get an insight that I couldn't have otherwise. And the other important part of next generation note taking is the ability to have glance access. So the ability to look at it straight away and use it straight away. So for example, um, here is a presentation I went to. It was over an hour's worth of information. Um, but I can look around this, an hour's worth of information, as I'm sitting listening to someone and I can real time make sure the whole thing makes sense. It's really cool. So my, as I say, this gives me, this next generation type of note taking where I'm processing gives me a huge advantage over, you know, when I was listening, because for me, listening's virtually a waste of time because of my short term memory, actually real time during the meeting or presentation or when I'm studying, and then my long term fade rate, so the amount I forget, you know, it's really quick. Um, traditional note taking to me was a complete waste of time because I'm basically just recording information and then I've got to try and figure it out later. Laptop, equal waste of time because I'm just using the same recording technique. Albeit, I can read the letters and the words afterwards, but I still have to try and figure out what it's about. Um, how do I feel when I'm doing this? The benefit for me, it just empowers me. It's made a difference in my life, you know, between night and day. I mean, it has just been enormous. And this has actually been proven by uh, cognitive neuroscientists. So they found that if you make a switch to processing information at a greater level, you, in a complex meeting, presentation, real-time understanding of non-dyslexics is about 64%. I suspect I would have been lower. By processing knowledge, straight away, real-time understanding for everyone goes up to 76%. So suddenly, as a dyslexic, I'm starting to perform on the same level as non-dyslexics. After a year, real-time understanding goes up to 84%, a 20% increase when you're in complex situations. But the reason for pausing, it gets even better for people who have dyslexia. Because after a year, our real-time understanding suddenly 23% above what non-dyslexics can achieve. That is a game changer. It goes up to 87%. How do I feel when I'm doing it? What can I say? It's incredible. So what I would say is if you're dyslexic, then please start to make a switch to next generation note taking where basically you're processing information much more. Um, if, you're, uh, if you're interested or passionate about helping people with dyslexia, wherever you are in the world, please, please, um, you know, share this information with as many people as you can, because not many people know that it's possible to increase real-time understanding for people with dyslexia in all their lectures, all their workplace meetings, presentations by 23%. If, and they can increase it by 12% within two weeks. That for us, it changes our lives. So please, please share this widely. I keep saying wildly, widely and wildly. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. And of course, above, below, or on the sides, uh, there is a link to some more free tips on how to manage information effectively. Thank you.